crazy how much this world has changed. In the 90s, you have like a video leaked and it could be the end of your career. Nowadays, it could launch your career, even if you have no talent. Yes. Hey guys, welcome to my review of Pam and Tommy. What a great idea to do like a freaking film on this. I mean, it's not a film. It's a, it started as a four part series. I swear they keep adding them. It's like seven parts now. I'm doing this review after watching the fifth episode. But yeah, it's like a long movie telling a lot of story that I didn't know. And before even watching this, I was like considering the subject matter. I'm going to be throwing in all types of innuendos to just to make the review fun. But 30 seconds in, I couldn't help but feel bad for Pam. And it would just be a dick move for me to do that. But yeah, Pam and Tommy is the new limited series on Hulu. And I'm assuming everybody knows the overall story, but I'll be avoiding any like plot points. So no big reveals. And yeah, there is a lot to the story I didn't know. Like they really capture the 90s good here, by the way. The look, the music, the vibe, the feel, the technology or lack thereof. And yeah, there's a great conversation about how the internet works. Because yeah, back in the dark ages, it was a crazy concept to like wrap your head around. Seth Rogen, he is great in this. Playing the same character, we see him play all the time pretty much. But he's got some more layers here. In fact, everyone is great in this. Good job with the casting. Lily James plays a fantastic Pamela Anderson. And Sebastian Stan, he totally nailed it, dude. Even though some people are going to be like, oh, he maybe he's not tall enough, but whatever, dude. He's a good actor. And he gets into it. Oh, and before I forget, this is definitely not for kids. No. No detail. There's a bathroom scene that is hilarious and fantastic. But yeah, definitely not for kids. This is uncut. Something I also like is that you spend time with each character. Like it really goes deep into Pamela Anderson and her story. And in its storytelling, even the biggest pricks can be likable in some moments. And I mean, I remember this story when it came out. And now that I see the whole big picture, what I knew back then was pretty much just the tip, dude. I realize this story goes deeper and deeper and deeper. And I mean, it's in there. Something else I also like is how it touches on society's view and the difference, the unfair difference of if a man does something versus a woman doing something and just the difference of being judged. It sucks. It's not right. And I like that this actually explores that because even though nobody totally hands their hands clean here, it gets to a point that you really feel for Pamela Anderson, man. And and I just I, I honestly feel bad. Jokes aside, I feel bad. For what the freaking girl went through. At least episode 5. She might be a total psycho 6 and 7. I don't know. But yeah, it's the risk you run when you do a freaking review without finishing the whole series. Whatever. And yeah, she did lose a lot. Because even though her career was rising up, Tommy Lee's was pretty much wrapping up. And yeah, Pamela, she took a freaking pounding. It sucked. As for flaws, I will say this series I think has a little bit of an identity crisis as far as tone is concerned. Because we're episodes 1, 2, 3, and 4. Four, one, two, three and a half were really just fun and light. This story is starting to get really freaking dark, dude. Like episode five, no detail. There's a scene with lawyers and a deposition that I just, I, I honestly, dude, like I wanted to turn it off because I just, I felt bad for Pamela Anderson's character and it's disgusting and hard to swallow. I do hope it doesn't keep going down this dark path where by the end, the series just leave you, leaves you with like a freaking, I don't know, like a Bad taste in your mouth? I want to enjoy this. But yeah, th this is like a TMZ train wreck you just kind of can't take your eyes off of. Yeah. Guys, have you seen Pam and Tommy? Let me know in the comments. Also, please like, subscribe, and whatever to all the stuff that I have. And uh, thanks for watching.